Guys, there it is, the 60th anniversary spec of the 2024 Mustang. In the Wimbledon right, you do have the new badges here. And of course, classic 67, 68, ready? We'll click it here. And it's right there. Check it out, guys. Really cool, classic old school gauges. It looks really cool to see. What's up, fam? Hold this message finds you all well in good spirits. We are headed to Mustang's 60th birthday party in Charlotte, North Carolina. And before going any further, guys, we're coming in for a landing on this giveaway. The last one, the last days are upon us. May 1st is end. So go out of on3spot.com, grab some merch. I could be calling you to get this car. All right, guys, setting off. Just so you know, we have reset the trip to see what we get. We have about an eight and a half hour drive, 500 miles, not bad. So we're headed to Charlotte, North Carolina for the huge Ford Mustang 60th birthday party. And we're gonna see, of course, the new reveal of the 60th anniversary Mustang. So we'll see what happens. All right, checking in, eight hours, 11 minutes, driving 22.4 miles to the gallon. to the Grand Bohemian. The valet got this. He said he just cut an angle, so car looks great. Let's go. Mustang 60 birthday. Hotel room. Very nice. Grand Bohemian. Fancy. Again, weird people on the walls. I know. This is, it's like <laughs> Borderline haunted hotel -y, but it is beautiful. Nice view on the park. Let's see the park. All it right. Nice. Charlotte's a great city. Yeah. Dinner time. All right, guys, you waited this long. Here's a reveal the 60th anniversary one. So we are parked in the VIP and it just totally detailed how beautiful this new dark horse looks. We're gonna walk around before the show and take a look at Mustang 60 anniversary party. Guys, there it is, the 60th anniversary spec of the 2024 Mustang. In the Wimbledon right, you do have the new badges here. And of course, it's all, it does have the gauges. We're not gonna start it right now, people are around us. 60 years right there and of course you have the wheels there are set up for you but that is the new badging so Wimbledon they're only making 1965 models of this so this is the Wimbledon white 60th anniversary spec of the S650 60 years 60 years, guys. Tell me what you guys think, comment below. A nice uh, heritage spec. The Wimbledon Wright looks really handsome on this particular setup here. 
little color spec grill and the wheels clean very clean very nice looking of course there is a throwback to the wheels themselves but love it i think with the the wimbledon white the wheels the 5.0 the 60 years graphics and of course the new gauge cluster really a big fan of what they've done here with the new 60th anniversary uh package so that was just some big big grills there badges actually so all right you guys i appreciate the support uh stay tuned we're gonna have more coverage of the 60th anniversary of mustang like and subscribe because you know it never ends peace So what's cool here, what Ford has also done, they've also had each generation here. So you of course, 1967 first gen Mustang. Then you have the second gen, uh, not as popular for obvious reasons, uh, but it's okay for, you know, that is a fuel crisis car, but here we go. This is what a lot of people love. What's up, baby? What's going on? You know who I'm with right now? The Batstang winner. Chris What's Ayers, on, appreciate guys? you. So, what do you think about the 60th anniversary Mustang? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that, I like. That's a beautiful car. Wimbledon white yes. with the wheels, and it's a good-looking car. It is a they very did a good, good job. Car. So, did you see the GTD yet? I did. Thoughts? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that's is, about all I can say. It's on a that. wide girl. That looks beautiful. It's a wide girl, and of course, there of all the gens here, third gen. Fourth gen, of course you have S197 and, and 350. What's your favorite gen? I'd have to go with the first gen. All right. There you go. You can't go wrong with. You can. Yeah. Always the first movie is always the best one. You Especially know. Especially the GT500. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks really good. Guys, why don't you comment below? Let me know what you think your favorite gen Mustang is. And, and, and I want to showcase to you. This is my first time seeing. A California, no, this is the Mustang FB800S. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Myself thought this was a California special. This is the Whipple Ooh. for performance FB800S. So check it out, guys. Officially approved by Ford County the warranty. Yeah. So. Concept. Oh, I gotta do that. All right, guys, uh, we are here at the Mustang 60 year anniversary party. And what I have behind me is the Mustang FP800S from Ford Performance. Basically the 800 horsepower Mustang you can get from Ford Performance. Let's take a look inside, let's take a look. Tell me what you guys think. See, it does have really cool, this is a carbon fiber lip here at the bottom. New Ford Performance grill. Almost a, a hair like California Special. It has really cool color painted wheels here. Uh, are these white or gray? I don't even know the color. Battleship Gray. That's why I keep her with me. She knows more than me about Mustangs, but Ford Performance Battleship Gray wheels are here, guys. And you can see the Mustangs are coming in, coming in hot. And then they have right here, this is what I love. The Ford Performance Recaros. Look at these Recaros. So these are my favorite uh, new seats I've seen in a Mustang S650. But check it out, guys. Ford Performance on the carpet. And what's cool about this is actually these are the base screens here. So you can see that they did that for obviously the base car is lighter. You have a dry carbon dark horse spoiler. So take a look at that. That looks really good. Yeah, me too. The spoiler is dope. And remember, with dry carbon, it's lighter material. And the Battleship Gray with... Yeah, it looks really good. Let me just read the sticker. <laughs> so, it is a base. 24, 5 and Then you get the supercharger. Oil, oil separator. They did upgrade the half shafts. And lowered it. Battleship Gray 19s black lug nuts and of course the fp800 graphics 
and badges, but you can see more there. You can screenshot it. Look how big this exhaust. Ford Performance brand name. How big are the tips? Yeah, that's that's the Ford Performance tips, but so you can see here how cool that looks here, which is dry carbon right here too. And then there it is. The Whipple for the FB 807S is right here. So tell me what you guys think, comment below. There it is, the FB 800S. First time seeing it in the flesh from Ford Performance, guys. All right. There are your Ford Performance catch cans, oil separators there. The Ford, it's a Whipple, but it's Ford Performance branded. 800 horsepower, dual intakes. There it is. Gonna drive it next. Let you know how it looks. This is the Matt Rat Mustang you might have remembered from the New York Auto Show. Mustangs now have Matt Wraps available when you order them. So, FB800S, Matt Rat Mustang, it's all here. Of course, that's the Dark Horse, which we actually own with the Recaros. And there is the Mac Daddy of them all. Right in the center is the GTD. Now, this is the first time you're going to get a chance to see it next to something like a dark horse. So you can see the difference in the presence of a GTD, how wide it is compared to something as simple as an EcoBoost. So you get that real idea of how big it is. Now, you can also see all the coolers are in there as well. So this is definitely the top dog. The supercar Mustang is right here in the flesh. You can again see it in parallel to the regular Mustangs. What do you think? Okay. Lost for words. But there it is. Something that I want. From EcoBoost to GTD, whatever your flavor is. And of course, we got to give some respect here. The Maki. Rally editions here. Something coming on the channel with that. Stay tuned for that. And of course, they're going to reveal some stuff over there later tonight. But you can see, let's do a walk around here of the GTD. Looking really. That wing. Been stocking this car. I don't know if we can get one, but I'll tell you what, we definitely love how it looks. Function behind back. <laughs> <laughs> With the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Savanka of Continental Tire, formerly Steeda, and he has his wonderful, beautiful vapor blue dark horse. Look out to his page for the pictures he just took. Yeah, be really cool. Always good to see this guy. Thank you, man. We'll see him all over the place. We're like basically Mustang. What are we? Fanatics, bro. Oh, Mustang Bros. Okay. We should make a spinoff. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. So, all right, you guys. Bros. Appreciate you guys. Follow him. Like, subscribe, because you know, it never ends. Peace. All right, guys, take a look at this build. Looks pretty sick. S650 lights. First time seeing them on an S550. Looks pretty, pretty good. What you guys think? Let's go. Dad, you want to join? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's get on it. Here you go. All right, well, I found the owner of this beautiful car. What's your name? Introduce yourself. It's uh, Denny Richard is my name, and I live in Statesville, North Carolina. All right. Now, tell me about this build. I see a little bit of S550, but a little bit of S650. Talk to me about it, bro. Okay. So, uh, just recently, it is a 2018. It's got 12,000 miles on it. When I bought it, it was just a GT premium, just plate race red, nothing done to it. So, basically, what I decided to do is, yeah, I wanted a little taste of that S650. You know, man, you got the dark horse. You know what it's all about. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I, I put the S650 headlights and taillights on the back of it, you know. So it's got all that 650 lighting, you know, which I'll be glad to show it to you. Yeah, sure. So uh, it started out like that, and then I did the the engine has been completely redone. So obviously the Whipple went on, and I had to rebuild the top half and the bottom half of the engine to put up with the power numbers yes. that it's pulling right now off of the dyno. What are we talking? Power right line? now we're talking a thousand to the crank, Woo! around 850 to the rear wheels at this point in time, wow. and it's not quite right. done yet. 
So we're almost there, but we're not quite done yet with her. You know, uh, how much horsepower does the Lambo doors add? I gotta ask. <laughs> oh, I'd say they're good for at least a hundred, don't you think? You know, so, so how is it living it. with them? Is it like easy or what is it? So they're not bad at all. Here, I'll even yeah. tell you why you're here. You know, if you want to take a look, feel free. You know, so anytime you want to pull them down, you know, obviously they don't take too much pressure. You can pull it right down. You know, oh, down, down and they down. close normally. Yep. And then if you don't want to open them, they do close normally, just like any other. Oh door. well, look at this interior, guys. So, you know, Holy cow! I'd be glad to open that door up again for you. you know? Jeez. So, yeah, I love this. So a few extra things I've done to her on the interior here. We'll okay. Give you a shot. Let's see what it does. Nice. Okay. So if you turn on the ignition here, feel free. Step. Oh, 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 oh. Oh wow. Vengeance here, okay? That's it. Not that bad. That's bad. Hey, really appreciate that. I like my first time getting out of a Mustang with Lambo doors, but <laughs> that's this is a S550 done perfectly, in my opinion. No, I and really uh, I love it. it. If you want to see the tails, I'll put the yeah. tails on for you so you can see the turn signal. Sure. Very nice. Dude, looks really good. You can see the Mach 1 lights are white and they can be yellow too in the grill. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, great job. No, I really appreciate it. If I was judging, this is my choice. I love it. I really appreciate it. Good that, job, man. I can't tell you how much it means to me, man. Been following you for a long Keep time. Keep it up, man. man. God bless you. God bless you as well. Yeah. All right, dude. You know who I'm with right now. No, this isn't The Rock. This is the winner of the Shelby GT350 we had, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. What's up, sir? How you been? Good, good. Hey, his son is here. Now, you did get rid of it, though. I did. Hey, listen, by the way, guys, you're allowed to get rid of your cars. People send me something. They're selling it. I'm like, they're allowed to. It's their vehicle. Of course, of course, we have Chris. Uh, so what do you have now? Uh, I got an F two fifty right now. Uh, That's fitting. Nice. Look how big this guy is. Of course, he needs uh, he needs a nice. But you did drive the two fifty a little bit. Oh, and wow. then you got the Mach one. Mach one. So. And then we got a boat for the family. But uh, Mustangs are there's it's not done. It's not over with. Your car is fine when you left the Yeah. And my dad's got no one. His Cobra. dad came down here in the Cobra. So good stuff, man. Dude, I really appreciate these winners coming out, and it it's really cool to see them because a lot of people say that these winners don't exist and. It's my best friend's cousin's sister's friend. No, they're real people. I don't know this guy. They really, <laughs> they really won and they enjoy it. So check out the giveaways we have going on and hopefully meet up again like you guys are in the next ones. But I appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Happy Mustang 60th. Appreciate you because you know the never ends. We made it happen. That's right. This is the kid right here. Yeah. Made him enter. Bought a, so, a t-shirt, want a car. There you go. Appreciate you guys. <laughs>